Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Factory Entertainment Batman the Killing Joke Premium Motion Statue of the Joker. A pretty neat looking statue. Uh, when we saw this, when I saw this online, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I'll provide the information down below if you guys would like to head over to Factory Entertainment to see some of the other stuff that they are producing. The front of the package features the artwork from Batman the Killing Joke. It also was a fitting time for me to have a look at this figure as the animated version of The Killing Joke finally is coming, well, coming out to DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, as for the rest of the box, it's a basic black box with Factory Entertainment up at the top. And as well as really all the other facings of the box, you have Factory Entertainment and Batman The Killing Joke as well. Spot's going to get this opened up, but when we come back, we're getting a better look at the Factory Entertainment Batman The Killing Joke premium motion statue. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. To come included with the statue, you get yourself a Killing Joke. This is number two, premium motion statue, www.factoryent.com for Factory Entertainment. And then as for the back, you also get a, well, it's a certificate of authenticity. This certifies that the accompanying collectible motion statue manufactured by Fenry Factory Entertainment is produced under license from DC Comics. Factory Entertainment certifies the authenticity of this collectible premium motion statue, which is stamped with the copyright of both DC Comics and Factory Entertainment. If you take the statue and you flip it upside down, uh, you can see that it's got the killing joke. This is number 010601, uh, I should say. Or I guess it would be, or either 1090. I think it's 0601. But I guess it could be, well, because the number sign is facing this way. And then you got www.factoryentertainment.com. It's a heavy piece, surprisingly. It is a heavy piece. This is all metal. And uh, this is a good solid metal. I don't think it's a metal base, but it's a good. It might actually even be metal. Metal base, metal back plate there. And then on the front of the plate, they've applied the ha 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 from the top all the way down to the bottom. And you can probably see how it's a motion. The motion statue uh, is the actual spring. It's just a spring that's attached to the Joker's base. So then moving it is where you can see the motion come into play. It's successful in, in its simplicity, I suppose. Again, you've got that spring that's attaching everything to, and you can, you know, kind of live with Joker's sanity, or insanity for that matter, as Joker's grasping his, his hair with his fingers there. Uh, sadly, I got a little bit of uh, the stickers kind of started to peel off the side here. So I might have to actually just get some uh, adhesive just to seal that down. But the top of the statue uh, is a raised piece. It's actually higher than the bottom, so it gives it that 3D effect. Let's get a better look at Joker. Bring the camera in there. It's creepy. Uh, certainly it is creepy. Joker grasping his hair in, in between his fingers. M madness stricken over his face. What's kind of what is also slightly alarming is it obviously sits on a spring. That's what controls this, the motion of the figure. But when you kind of hold it straight, it looks like Joker's legs are, are almost has a twitch to them. It's unsettling. There's what it looks like from the back side of the, the figure there. Uh, Factory Entertainment is releasing or has released a bunch of motion related uh, statues. I gravitated towards Joker, obviously, because I'm a big fan of the Joker. I think it turned out well. Uh, I don't like that the label or the sticker that's been applied to the statue back plate here is starting to come off. I'm just going to have to get some adhesive just to kind of stick that down. Other than that, though, I think it turned out well. I think it turned out well, and it's it's a nice little piece to put on a, a display shelf. The motion end of it, again, is just relying solely on the spring, but I think it's, again, a pretty successful feat. Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Factory Entertainment, the killing joke motion statue of the Joker. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.